Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to model individual complex blocks like say beds and enchanting tables which require UV mapping and that stuff, yeah. So I forgot to mention in the previous tutorial how to save, so I'm just going to do it in this. So Control S or File Save and I'm going to save this in our folder we made to saves and I'm going to name it Test. And there we go, and now we can start the tutorial. So let's go ahead and disable the tree. Well, actually, let's keep it on for now, and then let's make a cube. And so, as you can see, this cube is too big, so we need to create 100 by 100 by 100, and that is the correct size for Minecraft blocks. And let's hold Shift and put it onto the uh, the right place, like so. And now let's go ahead and load in some textures. So double click the ma uh, Materials Manager, and then you shall get this file, file editor. That's off. Um, reflectance map and go into color and load image desktop cinema 4d textures blocks okay so let's load in a texture so let's double click this materials place uh, uh, materials section and then double click on the texture and then let's drop reflectance map and go into color and let's load in a texture so I have said I have it saved under my in the textures um, so desktop cinema 4d textures this is the one we made previously and then go into blocks and then we shall have all the blocks textures so I'm gonna load in two types of textures so one is the bricks so image okay so this you just normally click no if you click yes it's gonna create a new um, uh, location for that texture so it'll save it separately and then let's go ahead and change the sampling to none so it's not blurry and if you want you can change this to like a uh, cube and it'll, yeah, it's so I'm also going to be loading up an enchanting table. So let's enchanting table bottom, open it up. Uh, let's make another key, another material, enchanting table side, because enchanting table is a weird block to model. So I'm going to use that as an example of modeling a block. So enchanting table top, this is the last one. Whoops, that is unfortunate. Okay, open it up, and there we go. So now we have these three textures. Um, let's go ahead and change the sampling to none. So it's not blurry, off reflectance, and let's make this uh, a plain backlight. Okay, so the easiest way to texture, okay, so the easiest, okay, so the easiest block to texture is probably like bricks and wooden planks and stuff, because you just have to click and drag it on, and it shall automatically uh, map it out correctly. So let's get started in modeling our uh, enchanting table. So first of all, we need to delete the brick texture like so, and then we click on the cube, and we need to make it editable. So right now it's in non-editable mode, so if you go into polygon mode and we try and edit it, we cannot so we need to click on the cube and click on edit mode um, editable so that thing and a way a good way of checking is to see if this cube becomes a triangle so that means polygon so not uh, the hotkey for this is pressing C on the object and it shall make it editable so yeah so now we need to ensure it's the correct size so as you can see the enchanting table is a little smaller than uh, normal blocks so it's tw I believe it's 12 pixels tall like so so it's missing four pixels so these four pixels need to be removed on this block so currently so each pixel is 6.25 centimeters long so what we need to do is subtract uh, four pixels so that's so we can do that here so select the block and in the coordinates plane it shall tell you the size right here so we need to subtract six uh, sorry four pixels so it's minus four pixels times 6.25 that's how big the, the the pixels are right so four of them so minus it and that shall give us 75 that's how tall our enchanting table is so next we need to position it in the correct place because it's kind of floating so how we do that is we go in, oh yeah i already showed you this too so go to modeling quantity size and change this to 6.25 and that'll allow us to reposition our um, object correctly onto our plane so next we're going to texture the top and the bottom because that's the easiest thing to do. So click and uh, go into polygon mode, click on the top and just drag in our texture. Same for the bottom, just drag it in. And now we got the, the bottom and top. So now let's go back into polygon mode, press U and L and we'll get this loop selection tool and we can select the sides with it. So as you can see, now we've selected all the sides. It's called loop selection. And now we can click and drag and put in our enchanting table texture. So as you can see, it's not mapped correctly. So I, I'm gonna show you how to fix this. This is where it gets a little more complicated. Okay, so to UV map objects, uh, which means to re remap the textures and stuff, we need to go into BP UV edit. So we click on that, on the layouts, and then we uh, bring it probably back. And 
Okay, so now we have to load in the texture that we're using to UV map this cube, so it'll be easier to um, texture it properly. So let's go ahead and do that. Textures, uh, blocks, enchanting table side, and open. And now it shall open this up. So now we have the texture loaded up. So let's go ahead and select our cube. As you can see, it disappears, and we need to just click on enchanting table textures. And, and then it, it shall pop up again. Okay, so now we need to go into this mode. So this allows us to se select the UV polygons of the enchanting table. So it's not the same as polygon mode. Polygon mode, you cannot edit it at all. So make sure you're on the right mode. I know people have made this mistake many times. So select this mode and now you can see it's highlighted the polygons on the uh, editor right here. So we can, as you can see, when you move this, it's gonna move the texture of this. Um, so now we have to select the scale tool. So if you select that and we try and scale this, it's not gonna scale the right way we want it. So keep in mind, you can only select the corners and the middle of a polygon. Um, so it's not scaling the right way. So what we do is hold and click and hold and we get the non-uniform scale. So now that we can scale in all directions and this is what we need to uh, UV map this correctly. So. Uh, you can either you can scale like this and keep it like that, so as you can see, it's not correct. But it's a little annoying, especially when you're dealing with a lot of polygons. So the best way to do this is to enable snapping. So what I do is I click on snapping, and then I click on uh, then I go into quantity size and I change this to uh, 3.125 and 3.125. So that's basically half a pixel. So uh, if you type in 6.25 and 6.25. It, it will also work, but I like to keep it at 3.125 because sometimes it, uh, you, it's necessary to have more snapping. So you can even you can put divide by two and divide by two. And if you even want further, you just type divide by two and divide by two once more time, and that should enable the snapping correctly. So I'm just going to keep it at 3.125. Enable movement scale. So now you can move it in, and it snaps to the pixels correctly. And if I scale it using the non-uniform scale tool. Let's do that, and now it snaps. So now it's perfectly UV mapped, and we can now go back into startup mode. I forgot to mention, you need to uh, close all textures uh, once you're done editing the UVs, otherwise the alpha channel will be messed up. So it's gonna appear black if you have an alpha channel, so make sure you always close all the textures once you're done so it's not appearing here. And now you can go into startup. Alright guys, thanks for watching this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how I model this bed in a time lapse. And yeah, stay tuned and see you in the next video.